What's up everybody and welcome to the Milsim Tax Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel. This video is an announcement, a cry from the rooftops to all Postscriptum players. As we all know, we have a big armor overhaul along with an official chapter and many modded chapters coming. But as you see in Reddit, forums, Steam discussions, people are always saying, why aren't we playing these modded maps? From Simon Skull, to St. Marie de Mont, Mont Pecan, they're just sitting there unplayed. Well, today's your special day, boys. As of just several hours ago, Easy Server 2 went live, and on it is several modded maps. Stop what you're doing, go pop the server, or if you're busy, at least seat it, because tonight is gonna be a modded map all night slobber knocker. All right, if you're new around here, we try to give away a Steam key at the end of every week. All you gotta do is be a little part of the community around here. If you're interested in entering, just stay tuned for details. But for now, we're gonna jump right into this, starting with a quick look at the map Simon Skull. Now, just like the Postscriptum official maps, Simon Skull here is based on an actual area and made with aerial maps depicting an actual battle that took place during World War II. Simon Skull was an old, like, logging village deep in a valley, and the mountains on both sides of the valley are playable. You can expect armor engaging deep across the valley from mountain to mountain and some of the most hectic gameplay you'll see in the game down in the city that lies in the bottom of the valley. The shells are just going all around you. Out of all the modded maps, this one is probably played the most. So some of you have already probably played this one. I know I have a few times. And fighting over that city in the valley is always a doozy. But there's so much more to the map. Up on top of the mountain, on the north side, there's some farms, haciendas, or little villas, if you will, with tons of woods, concealment, and cover alike. But that's not what we're here for. I'm not gonna go over the entire map, like, showing you, uh, you know, strategies or anything like that. We're gonna keep right on rolling. We're gonna take a quick look at all of these beautiful maps that Easy Server 2 is running. And you have already went over, jumped onto Postscriptum, and slid your little booty into that server, server number two for easy, as to seed the server. Keep it minimized, that's fine. And when you come back in a few hours, hopefully everybody that's seeded it will be in there, and when people see that there's 30, 40 people in there, they'll actually click and join. Most of you know this concept, seeding a server, and some of you don't, but that's basically the gist. Think of it like jumpstarting a car. We gotta jumpstart this server, baby. And it's gonna take all of us. This next map is probably my favorite, as it not only depicts the end of the fictional movie Saving Private Ryan in a little town called Ramel, that part where they try to hold the bridge at the very end, yeah, it's not an actual place, it's fictional, but it's still an awesome battlefield. And then believe it or not, this map also holds a non-fictional battlefield or area of a battle. If any of you know the Bloody Gulch, in the southeast part of Ramel is definitely a depiction of the Bloody Gulch. One thing that I do love about this map is that the buildings are freaking dilapidated, war-torn, for lack of a better word. Something you don't see too much in, like, the earlier Operation Market Garden maps. The town is kind of laid out as if the battle or war had just begun. Oh, and one key thing about this map, that sniper's bell tower is definitely there. I mean, it's about as much a sore thumb as it is a perch, but to each his own. I think all of us nerds have always wanted to act out the end of Saving Private Ryan, and apparently here's our chance. Like I said, all we gotta do is pop this server, boys. So, if you don't understand the concept of seeding, you can come through to the Discord or DM me, PM me any way you can, and maybe I'll explain it to you further. But we gotta get this server going seated and popped so we can play these awesome maps. Moving right along is a new map that we have on the server called Villers Bowcage. Yet another custom map that was carefully recreated using aerial reconnaissance photos and maps from the time. So that's right, just like the official maps, this map here is based on an actual historic area and historic battle. To be exact, it's set in the early morning of the June 13th, 1944 one week after the Normandy landings. The British attempt to improve their position by exploiting a gap in the German defenses west of the city of Caen. Realizing this gap, the Germans send out the 101st SS Heavy Panzer Battalion. What the Allies don't know is that they will face the infamous Tiger Tank for the first time in Normandy. There's actually three different layers for this map. One where the German defend early morning, O2 where the Germans attack sunny afternoon, and O3 where the US attacks nighttime with a paradrop. In fact, that nighttime paradrop from the intro is Villers Bowcage, O3. 
Now, we can put every modded map ever made up on a freaking server, and it's not gonna matter unless you, the player, you guys come out and pop the freaking server. So tonight, or better yet, as soon as you watch this video, go over, start up Postscriptum, find Easy Server 2, and jump in there. Now, seating is allowed, so what that means is you can slide into the server just to show support or whatever, make the number bigger to entice other players, and then slide out and go do what you gotta do, homework, whatever, work, come back in a couple hours, and then boom, the server's popped, ready to play. That's basically the idea of seeding. But that's all that we need done at this point. The server's up and running, waiting for you. This last map is really cool. It's called Utah Waves and you actually get to control somewhat the logistical launching of the ships. Now I think the landing ships go out like every minute or so, but you can actually spawn on an LZ kind of ship where there's machine guns you can fire to shore. So instead of spawning directly on the landing ship, you spawn on an LZ ship, then get onto a landing ship, if that makes any sense. But it's totally cool. You can get the commander up on like the perch at the very top of the ship with binos and have him command the army from there. You can put down suppressive fire from the LZ basically. It's got a hull with tanks, your wolverines and shermans. Simply load up the landing ship, infantry, armor, and head to shore. So it's basically Utah, just modded. And for that matter, it's just the beginning of an invasion layer of Utah, but it's still super cool. I've yet to see this on a full server. I think I think it'd be a lot of fun, so we gotta get this server pop. You just don't know when to end your videos, do ya? Easy bro, it, it's over, chill, chill. Right after this word from our sponsor. RAID SHADOW- <laughs> I kid, I kid. But in all seriousness folks, go over, AZ Server 2, let's get it popping. It's gonna be an all night slobber knocker tonight, and hopefully we can keep it going, keep the momentum up. Also, while we're on the topic, Easy Server 1, we went over the entire rotation, it's been a few hours, and we found some um, layers that haven't been played in forever. Night maps, certain layers that were put off because the first point was too hard to cap, and I'll tell you, some of these layers, you're gonna miss, man, once you see them. For instance, my favorite, when the US attacks North AA position in Velmolen during the night. There's also like um, parts of Dorworth where the entire north part is in play. Capture zones and parts of the map that you've totally forgot. So EZ Server 1 is going to be popping too. Also be advised right now, but I'll see you guys tonight. I may be a little bit later. I'm on the east coast, so EST, late night I'll be on. Come through. Come through to the Discord if you want to link up. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members, the Millsimp Minions, making this all possible. You too could support the channel for as little as 99 cent a month. Helps me out immensely. You also get a leg up in the giveaways. That's right. Every channel member, no matter what tier, gets double the entry in every week's Steam Key giveaway. Giving you a huge leg up. Considering I've only been getting 10 to 20 entries a week, your odds at winning a $30, $40 game are pretty freaking good. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and be a part of our little Discord community. It's linked below. But most importantly, drop a comment, say whatever you want to leave your discord name and number it's going to work as your ticket stub if you do win good luck to everybody i'll see you in the next one y'all be good to each other